Humans are social creatures, but to stop the spread of COVID-19, the novel coronavirus, we all need to do exactly what we're biologically programmed not to do, social distancing. We humans don't have big claws, sharp teeth, or hard shells. We've evolved to feel safe by sticking together. Therefore, few things are more alarming to our systems than suddenly being alone. Just like how, when we're deprived of food, we feel hungry. When we're deprived of social connections, we feel lonely. Loneliness, like hunger, is a warning signal, reminding us that we're not meant to be alone and encouraging us to form deeper connections. If we can't form deep social connections because, say, we're social distancing due to a global pandemic, our bodies go into survival mode. We start producing more cortisol, a stress hormone that keeps us alert to threats. Our bodies experience more overall inflammation, a way to prepare to heal any injuries we might get while out on our own without help. And our sleep becomes shallower so we can wake up to dangers in the night. These survival responses help us get through short, threatening bursts of isolation. But the longer we're lonely, the more these changes wear on our cells and organs. That's why perpetually lonely people are at higher risk for mental, physical, and emotional problems and have weakened immune systems. So, we're stuck inside for the foreseeable future, and this creates its own unique problems. That's why we've created Closer Social Distancing, a YouTube video series and website designed to keep all of us happy, healthy, and more connected. Up next, we explain how to stay connected during social distancing with the three components of connectedness. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, and for more content and resources, visit closersocialdistancing.com.